enzymes essentially they are proteins enzymes have a tertiary structure so you may have already looked at the different levels of protein structure we have the primary secondary tertiary and quaternary so enzyme has a tertiary structure and the function is to catalyze biological reaction to speed up biological reactions the enzyme only one part of the enzyme is the is useful which takes place in a reaction this is the active site active site this is where the the substrate will bind to the active site forming enzyme substrate complex this is a key word that you need to mention in your answer to get a mark now we mentioned about the active site the active site is very very unique and has has a specific shape now this is where we drawn our knowledge on proteins the levels of structure of proteins and photoenzymes so we mentioned that the enzyme have a tertiary structure so this this active site the enzyme has an active site this active site being very unique having a specific shape is due to the specific bonding that's found there and that bonding is because of the primary structure of our in our protein so we know the primary structure is a sequence of amino acid and that particular sequence allows you to form your tertiary structure and we know the tertiary structure is actually maintained by three bonds hydrogen bond ionic bond disulfide bond so it's, it's due to these specific bonding that allows you to have a folding a certain unique fold to form the tertiary structure and we know that these specific bonds are in a particular way um, and which is which is determined by the primary s structure which is a sequence of amino acids so the substrate they are complementary in shape to the active site and then only bind to the complementary shape so this is a key word that you be that you should be mentioning in your um, answers activation energy so in this graph I'm, I'm showing you here this is respiration we have our reactants here we have our products here so without enzyme as you can see you need a lot of energy to start the reaction so activation energy is the minimum energy required to uh, to start a reaction what enzyme does essentially is lowering this activation energy as you can see without and with is much much lower activation energy is lowered now there are two models the one that you were taught in GCSE is a lock and key actually this is not the most accurate one so the new model that which is we believe that is the most accurate is called the induced fit model but we need to have a look at both of them for our A level exam the lock and key model looking at the lock and key model the active site is the lock and the substrate is the key so I have my enzyme here this is the active site this is the substrate the, now this model suggests that the active site is actually a fixed shape so the substrate in complementary shape which is a uh, substrate which is a complementary shape will bind to the active site and is going to form the enzyme substrate complex then what happens next is that this complex is going to distort the shape of the substrate and which will lower the activation energy needed to break the bond now that's the lock and key model and key emphasis is the fact that the sub the active side is 100% complementary in shape the induced fit model is slightly different the the theory is having a looking at the diagram here this is the most accurate and this is what we believe what happens I have my enzyme here this is the active side and the substrate fits in but what happens next is that this fitting in although we mentioned in the lock and key active site has a hundred percent complementary in actual fact it's not hundred percent once 
the substrate has fit into has bind has to the has bound to the active site what happens next is the active site slightly changes shape in order to become 100% complementary so the analogy here i've given is is like wearing a glove the active site of the enzyme is like the glove and the substrate is your hand so the empty glove is not 100% complementary to the hand however as the hand enters the gloves what happens is a glove molds around the hand to become 100% complementary in shape so similarly induced fit the active slide slightly changes shape to mold around the substrate that's the key difference between the two different model the active site as the substrate fits in it slightly changes its shape to, to mold around the substrate. So when the enzyme substrate complex is formed, the molding of the enzyme puts strains. That change in shape puts strains on the substrate. And that strain, it distorts the bonds in the substrate, the chemical bonds. And by distorting this chemical bond, you are lowering the activation energy for this reaction. After that, the products are released and the enzyme is uh, returns back to its normal shape. That's the end of enzyme mechanism. Thank you for joining.